Hey guys, today I'm really excited to bring you an exclusive preview of Ninja SMS 4XDA. Let's check it out. This episode of XDA Developer TV is brought to you by Sony Mobile and the new Sony Xperia Tablet Z, now on sale at store.sony.com tablet. Be sure to check out Sony Mobile's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Sony Xperia Dev. Developer World. Lord MS12 posted a thread on the XDA forums and he's introducing us to the Ninja SMS app. This thread is referencing the current version on the Google Play Store. It doesn't actually cover the features that I'm going to be showing you in the preview version that we have access to and exclusive access to through the developers. Thank you very much. And it goes through and explains to us a little bit. Uh, it gives us a few screenshots of what the application kind of looks like. Uh, multiple floating windows at the same time, the chat head. Uh, this is the frequently uh, used contacts. And then if we scroll through the, further down, it shows us a little bit of a, an example of how the, the application looks and you are able to choose different themes on it. If we open up the uh, SMS, uh, the Ninja SMS application on the Google Play Store, we'll see that the application is available currently in, um, and it supports Android 2.2 and above. Um, and uh, as far as the uh, version of it is 1.4- uh, and again, there's the iteration to it. Hopefully in the next couple of days we'll have an update that includes all the features that I'm showing you. Uh, it is a paid app. Current ver file size is 1.5 megabytes. That's also possibly going to change with a new version. Uh, and the price tech is $1.50. Uh, let's check it out on the phone. We'll go ahead and open up the application on the Google Play Store. Look for Ninja SMS by Ninja Apps and we'll go ahead and open it up takes you straight into the main interface. The main interface the, on the new version will support four main frequently contacted people and the rest of your contacts are in the bottom all contact section. You have to turn on the service obviously for it to work uh, and there's the search, recommend and settings tab. If you go into the settings tab real quick, you have the ability of choosing a theme, you have the ability of setting the notification, the wake screen option. Also they've integrated some options into Lightflow so if you have that installed this will definitely work with that, very nice. For the sake of this experiment, what we're going to do is we're going to send a text message directly into the phone. Okay, so we'll get a text message directly uh, into the system and it'll come up in a form of a chat head. If you click it, it'll open up the application. Again, you're able to minimize it, go back to small. I'm able to hit, say, call. It'll open up the dialer for me. I can end. That was the phone on the other end. And it keeps it in, the, in a chat head type of a uh, system. That's one of the main benefits. And then the other main thing that you want to keep in mind is that, let's say you're in the middle of watching a YouTube video. And we'll say for the sake of this uh, demonstration, you're watching a video on the round, uh, on the um, XDA roundtable conversation with the developer. You're able to open it up, look at the contact, be able to respond to the contact, go back, you're still in the conversation, you haven't lost a beat with the video, you're able to send the message and go back into a chat hat situation. And if you want to get rid of it, you go X. That's the main benefit of XD, uh, of the uh, SMS, the Ninja SMS application. The ability to access it, use it, not lose a beat with the system and then be able to go from there. Overall, very good application. A lot of the new features coming down the pipe uh, we'll cover on the on the XDA Roundtable um, interview, so please check that out on the other main channel for XDA. That was posted uh, yesterday, I think. And overall, very good application, very good in, um, interface. The last thing I want to cover before we go is that they've included now shortcut uh, options on the desktop to be able to open up the chat, so you're able to add a... In this situation, this is, you know, you'll just add a widget, so we'll go ahead, open. Go widget, system widget, and you're able to select Ninja SMS, look up a contact and add it, and once you add it to the home screen, it will look like a little uh, icon that you're able to click, and when you click that, it'll open up the chat option, so you can directly start using or working with this person directly without having to lose or miss a beat. Uh, the other option, obviously, is that you're able to open it, hit the face, and then call that person right away, so it still works very nicely. Uh, and you're able to have like a, you know your favorite contacts over there. 
From what you guys can see, the application works very nicely. It is a basically non-intrusive way of responding to messages. And with the new features that they've introduced, you're not only able to use it in this non-intrusive message or a non-intrusive way, but you're also able to use it in a full page of text messaging um, application if you choose to go that way. Uh, the main benefit of it obviously are uh, the ability to easily set it up and go. You can just download it, install it. It works with your existing uh, messaging application. Uh, the ability to be able to provide feedback to the dev and the dev being able to basically incorporate these. A lot of the new features that you're seeing today in this preview version were recommended by other users like yourself. So definitely responsive development. Um, again, a lot of features. The chat heads is a very nice option as far as availability to be able to use that. Non-intrusive in the way where you have to stop what you're doing and go into the other application to do it. Now, on the little bit of a con, and it's not necessarily something against the application itself, but when you're in landscape mode and you're trying to respond to a text message, I find that it's a little bit off when you're able when you select to start typing and you see that the keyboard fills up your entire screen. So our landscape keyboard right now, unless it has some kind of a, a, um, a you know a transparent view blocks the existing view so you're not able to watch a video and specifically and respond at the same time um, unless you have one of those floating video applications and that's a totally different thing uh, but other than that it's not really anything against the application it's something just more of how android is when you go to landscape so different keyboards will have different responses and um, again depending on the size of your screen then you can get even higher uh, this is meant for phones. It's not meant for tablets. Obviously, you need to be able to send and receive SMS messages. Unless your tablet does provide that, some do, then this technically you know, wouldn't work that well for you. Um, let me know what you think. I have on the XDA uh, channel as well, a roundtable, I think, uh, an interview with the developers. Uh, they were able to gracefully give us some time at the, uh, during our day to be able to give us uh, a little bit of hints as far as some what's coming up, some of their future plans. Uh, there will be a link in the description uh, referencing a poll that they're trying to uh, put together to see some of the features that they're trying to implement as far as um, encryption uh, within sending and receiving messages on a more secure basis um, on your devices. So if something like that does interest you, please go ahead and check out the poll let the developers know so that they can implement that in the in the near future with the you know next release of the application um, other than that please make sure that if you're going to the uh, XCA DEFCON to check out the information in the link below um, you know like and subscribe to this channel like and subscribe to my channel as well please and hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys next week